Lana Dingwall, The Magic of Touching Grass. Hello all, JT here. This is edition number six of the Regen Library and our first installment written by Lana Dingwall. Lana is a consultant, community builder, poet, speaker, green pill steward, and the co-founder of Astrid Park. They bring a full range of experiences and philosophies into their work. They believe the future is multidimensional, and we need to think outside the box to create new ways of living and thriving. What if touching grass was one of the most profound and important things we could ever do? It is not merely a physical action. It symbolizes a reconnection within ourselves, nature, and our intrinsic motivations. It represents what can be a transformative journey that leads us to gain perspective and rediscover what truly matters in life. In a world that constantly demands our attention, touching grass allows us to create a small moment of peace. This may seem complex for such a simple act, But most of us have experienced moments of connection with nature, whether we were alone or with friends, hiking, walking the dog, or simply gazing out the windows as we drove by. We have all felt fleeting moments when we were lifted out of our troubles and felt a deep connection to something greater. The connection and solace nature offers are always available to us. We just need to remember to seek them out. Grounding ourselves is essential for personal growth, adaptability, and a thriving life. In areas where we feel insecure, we often compensate with insatiable desires. However, the pursuit of more for the sake of more does not lead to fulfillment. Instead, it keeps us trapped on a never-ending hamster wheel, perpetually stressed and exhausted. Touching grass invites us to reconnect with ourselves, nature, and what truly brings us joy. It challenges conventional notions of good and bad, right and wrong, allowing us to escape the culture wars that breed anger and finger-pointing. By embracing the interconnectedness and accepting the complexities of our world, we can cultivate regenerative mindsets, habits, and actions. This is not only beneficial for our body, mind, and soul, but also carries wider significance. The regenerative movement emphasizes leveraging Web3 technology to redirect capital, attention, and resources toward projects with positive sum global impact. However, the philosophy of touching grass holds power, not just in the context of a meme phrase on Twitter, but also in our personal lives. In order to create a regenerative world outside of us, we need to learn how to cultivate a regenerative world inside of us. Each of us harbors an inner degen, driven by the pursuit of money, influence, and power, because we live in a world that can trick us into thinking these things are most important. We must break free from the scarcity mentality loop that this thinking can create. By aligning with this part of ourselves, we are choosing to view life through the lens of scarcity. We believe that for there to be winners, there must be losers. In order for us to feel good about ourselves, we must be better than someone else. Although the number go up mentality prevalent in this space can be incredibly frustrating, It serves as a signal. Many people feel trapped in their lives and circumstances yearning for change. Crypto and NFTs have been placed on a pedestal, worshipped as a potential catalyst for transforming their lives. This signifies a deep desire for change. However, they overlook the fact that the safest bet they can ever make is on themselves. It is through showing up and putting in the necessary work to build the future we desire that we could truly make it a reality. In the absence of knowing what constitutes a well-lived life, many people chase wealth and status because they have been led to believe that these external markers will bring happiness. Web3 stands at a crossroads where values, hope, power, and money and opportunity converge. 
What sets this moment apart is the accessibility of information, the fundamentals of blockchain technology, or crypto, and the formation of decentralized global communities. This convergence grants us an opportunity to bet on ourselves and our communities and help create a win-win world. While power and money can be redistributed, the process is bound to be messy until we determine what that redistribution looks like. It also demands that we take more responsibility for ourselves, which involves decoupling our worship of others based solely on their status and wealth. Instead, valuing substance and genuine contributions. Going into nature provides us with moments of presence, beauty, and connectedness that helps give us a glimpse into what could be if we remove ourselves from the hamster wheels we find ourselves on. Wealth and money provide stability and choices that can significantly enhance our quality of life. However, they do not define a life well lived. Daniel Schmachtenberger once asked, quote, What is a desirable life? Unquote. Our desires vary based on our upbringing as they are conditioned within us. We must ask ourselves, what is truly worth desiring? To free ourselves from the conditioning of desire, we can reflect on people's experiences on their deathbeds. What mattered most to them was connection, love, and presence. Their regrets revolved around not expressing love more, not being fully present, and not spending enough time engaging in activities they loved with the people they cared about. Living a meaningful life requires a deep connection with our intrinsic motivations rather than relying solely on external factors. Touching grass serves as the initial step towards this realization. Various disciplines such as science, psychology, medicine, healing practices, religious texts, and stories all attest to the benefits of spending time in nature. It improves our mental health supports physical well-being, enhances cognition, and fosters a sense of connectedness with the world around us. Yet, the majority of us rarely dedicate meaningful time to immerse ourselves in nature. Remembering to touch grass, particularly during times of overwhelming stress, anger, fear, and sadness, represents a genuine step towards leading a happier and more fulfilling life. By reconnecting with what truly matters, ourselves and the sources of genuine meaning in our lives, we can initiate this process simply by stepping outside and immersing ourselves in nature. This entails intentionally carving out time and space to embrace the natural world around us. In a world that often leaves us feeling disconnected, there is an innate desire within each of us to seek out connection. This guide will provide practical and philosophical resources geared towards exploring what, quote, touching grass might mean for you and how to do it more often. It is a guide crafted with the sole purpose of reigniting your connection to the natural world and helping you hopefully find the deep sense of belonging and fulfillment that we all crave. Thank you, Lana. We appreciate your involvement with us at Green Pill, helping to build the Regen Library. Remember to follow Lana on Twitter at Lands Dings with Z's at the end, and check out her link tree in the description below. Consider sharing this and other Green Pill content to the Regen world we are building. If you have content you feel would be a great contribution for the Regen Library, reach out to us on our site, greenpill.network. Join our Discord or hit us up on Twitter at GreenPillNet. Who knows, maybe you too will find a spot in our crypto card catalog. Even better, start or join a chapter today. We'll help with the rest. On behalf of GreenPill, my name is JT. Cheers and big hugs from Kansas City.